Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com, and today we're going to talk about deploying MST files. What the heck is an MST file? Well, it's a Microsoft Transform file, and the idea is that let's say you've deployed your MSI application, but maybe it's got too much or too little or it's not configured the way you want. Some applications give you the ability to inject what's called an MST file as sort of a well, like a transform over the MSI file. So what does that mean? That means you're deploying the MSI file, you'd normally get a whole bunch of regular stuff the way the package was intended, but now you're putting this filter on it that lets you change the kinds of things that you can do as a user. So uh, by way of example here, you can see I've already deployed this uh, Office version and uh, everything is great here. Um, now let's go ahead and, and take a look at, at an application that lets you create MST files. The trick is, is that there's very few and far between of third-party applications that let you create MST files for their own application. For instance, this is old, I know, but here's Office 2003, and, I, and I'm talking about Office 2003 as an example application, um, even though it's kind of old. Um, but here it's got the idea of this thing called the Custom Installation Wizard. Now the Custom Installation Wizard lets you pick the MSI file that you have, for instance right there, and lets me create a customized transform ability for this. So I'll create a new MST file here. And I'll give this a new name. I'll call this uh, custom one or something. Now, uh, like I said, this application has 24 different screens of fun to play with here. Uh, we're not going to go over them. But the point of the story is that you would configure your application the way you wanted it to work and operate. That might be different than the defaults. When you click finish, you're saving that MST file out for later use, okay? So now, whoops, if we go back to the actual application itself and we click into it, so we've deployed Office by way of example here and we click on modifications, this is where you would put MST files, but uh-oh, you have no way to add it. So the idea is that even though you've got that application already ready to go, it doesn't work until you remove the application and, and redeploy it. So we go to new package here. And I'm going to now, at this stage, only at the deployment stage, I get a one-time shot at actually using my MST file. So I'm going to go to Modifications, click Add, and pick my custom MST, which will, like I said, transform that MSI. So that's the general way of things. You deploy an MSI file, but before you deploy it, you customize and create a customized MST file, which is, uh, like I said, a filter over that MSI file. Like I said, there's some applications that come with built-in MST generators, like this older Office version does, um, but there are also third-party repackaging tools that also allow you to create MST files for lots of applications. So with that in mind, that's how MST files work, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you soon on gpanswers.com. Thanks so much.